Morning, welcome to We Repair. Um, so today I've got an iPhone XR to repair for something a little bit different. As you can see, it's pretty smashed. Um, just it's just literally com a complete screen replacement. In the usual Apple way, a couple of pentalobes at the bottom. The screen has got a grommet around the outside sealing it in. Um, so it's, it's not an, a difficult one to repair. It's just a bit fiddly. Uh, in this case. There's lots of different ways to get it open. Most people say to heat them up. Um, and then from there, really, it's how you want to do it. A lot of people use um, little bits of plastic tape to go around the outside. Some people have got one of these things. Let me zoom you out so you can see a little bit. So essentially, you open it up. It sits on the bottom, the top of the screen like that. Push it down to release the air, and then you pull up with these, and it will pop open. I've got one of these. It doesn't make a great deal of difference. I've tried using this hundreds of times and I find it doesn't work very well. Um, I tend to go with the heat it up and then a small sharp blade just to get it started. And then I can usually work my way around the side of the adhesive. And, and that does it for me. So I'm gonna pop this on a heat plate now. Um, if you wanna know what that is, take a look at my iPad Mini 2 repair video because that will show you. Um, and again, if you haven't got a heat plate, hair dryer you can do it with um, if you've got sort of a hot air rework station as long as you've got it set on low you can go around with that um, there's lots of different approaches but as I say I, I will put the whole thing face down on a heat plate and that will heat the whole screen up evenly anyway I'll get that done and then I will come back to you so you can see the continued process okay so I have it heated up so we need to work quite quickly at this point so what we'll do we'll just get our two pantalobes out the bottom like this that's number one, and number two, and then we will get a it's sort of lifting already actually, which is interesting. Get a metal, there you go, in there. And at that point, we can just work our way around the side, prying it up as we go. This side's already actually come away, which is great would make me think that someone's possibly already been in this before and then just very carefully along the top now bear in mind we've got connectors down this side so at that point we're just going to stop and hold the phone open now these are usually a combination of pentalobes and of crosshairs crossheads even so first thing we'll do get these two undone to release the LCD cables and we're going to remove this metal bracket. We're not going to disconnect them just yet because we want to get the battery disconnected first before we do anything at all, um, just so we don't damage the motherboard or any other components. So this is a little bit tricky to show you on camera, but there's three screws holding the metal bracket in I'm currently undoing, two along the edge closest to me and one just under here. This metal bracket will now lift out like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect this connector at the bottom here, which runs to our battery. So that's it. We are now off power, which is great. Now we're going to get this one here so we can disconnect these two top cables. And then finally, we're going to do the screws that hold this upper metal plate in to the front camera assembly. So there's four of them, I think, if I remember rightly. That's three. And then the fourth one is a crosshead. So we'll just grab a Phillips screwdriver to undo that one. Like so. And then at that point we should just be able to more or less lift this out. Now there is a fifth one here holding another little connector in place that we're going to undo as well, which is again a Phillips. Like that. Just grab that bracket, like so. Okay, so now we can start disconnecting. So if you've got a spudger, great. If you haven't, fingernail is generally the always the way forward with these, which is an awful thing to say. So that's one, that's two. Let's see if we can get under this one. And that's three, and this should now lift out. So we'll move our main body of our phone away. Right. So what we've got to do, we've got to do a little bit of work on this. We need to free this top connection 
part here with the speaker, the front sensor is on it and the camera. Um, and then we're going to transfer over the mid frame from our old screen to our new screen. So we'll just do the unscrewing of everything first. So we'll just concentrate on our speaker is the first thing we'll do. So these ones are cross-headed screws except for one which is a tri-wing. So we got three of these to remove around the speaker and then number four to remove on the top sensor. So let's just do that. And they're all magnetic. Magnetic screwdrivers do help hugely on these. Now, the sensors are always a bit of a pain to get out. You give them a little wiggle, they will come, and then you can fold the whole speaker over towards yourself. Now with these ones, we've got a little metal catch at the top here that we're going to have to pry off, holding everything in. So we'll just do that. So that's our little metal catch. And then while well, we've got this here, we have to pry this up. The whole assembly needs to come up, but they are all glued in slightly, so which makes it a little bit fiddly. So just really, really slowly and carefully, and they will all come like that. So there's those two. And then we've just got a front mic here as well. So again, the front mics come off really easy. There you go. So that's the whole assembly taken off in one head. So next thing we're interested in is we're going to remove this mid frame. Um, now the cables do fold in a little bit of a funny way, so just be careful of that. Um, easiest thing to do is just to separate this and then that will all come off. And again, these are all tri-wings, I think. So we're just going to start unscrewing. So you're literally going to be working your way around the outside of this screen until you remove them all. out now. Come on mid-frame, up you come. So again, you've got some of the, the, the screen adhere to this. Now I'm going to be careful with this, just in case we have a fault and I need to put it back in, which I'm hoping we won't. If you want any more information on screen recycling, um, I use a company called LCD Buyback, which are a really good company. They ship all their screens out in bulk. Um, they're very economically friendly, so um, I highly recommend them. Right, so there you go. We are now freed up. So there's our mid frame and our old screen. So that's all out. So let's grab our new screen. Here's our new one. Now, first thing we're going to do, we'll post this back through here as carefully as we can. Make sure it's all lined up really nicely. Make sure the connectors are lined up. So, like that. I'm not going to stick anything back just a minute. Again, if you need tools and parts, I'd recommend you go to a company called ReplaceBase. Um, so that's the one I use. I've gone to ReplaceBase for this screen as well because they are, they always offer a better standard. You know they've always had really good quality check. Um, you're not going to get a, a really cheap Chinese screen with poor glass on them. They only do give you the best quality ones. So if you're looking for a screen, I would speak to them in the first instance and they will uh, sort you right out. Right, so next thing we're going to do 
very carefully see if we can peel this backing off and get this stuck back down. For the moment, he's just evading me. So let's just see if we can get this off. Let's get kind of tweezers. There we go. So, let's stick this into place. Let's just move this one out of the way. Good. Right, let's undo this sticker as well. There we are. Right, so that is our screen more or less prepped. Last thing to do, now we've got the bottom half of this all done, is to get our top assembly back in, so we'll just quickly do that. Um, and we've got to put that little latch back on as well. So just to show you this, we peel this end piece off. You can see the speaker folds completely open, so if you need to do this, the easiest way to do it is to fold the cable flat so you've got the speaker on top of the screen. Um, and then you can all, you've got easier access to all the components. Now I have just made a little schoolboy error because I shouldn't have shoved this camera in first. This is one of the second things to go in. You need to get this front bar in first because otherwise it doesn't line up very well. And then once you've got the front bar in, stick everything else down. Like that, look. And what we're going to do, we're going to stick this little metal bracket over it anyway to hold it into place, which I've just bent. So let's just get that back on there. And let's get this placement right because I'm not happy with it at the minute. Make sure the sensor bar is in. Right slot. Mm, it's in the right place. It just didn't feel like it was. Nope. Up our bracket. Okay. And then this is going to sit over the top of it anyway, so everything will be held in really tightly, like that. So next thing we're going to do. We'll We've got, we'll do our tri wing first. And that's just the one screw on its own on the top left. Like that, so that's our tri wing in place. And then we'll grab our others, these are all cross headed. So up here, next one, and I've got my last two, I don't need to pick them back up at the same time there. And that one, and here's my final one. So that's perfect, Look, so there's our new screen assembly ready to go. So let's bring the motherboard back in. So first thing I'm going to do before I do anything at all, I'm going to wire everything back up and I'm just going to do a quick test out just to make sure that this new screen works. So I'll just do that. That's that connected up. That one connected up, and that is that one connected up. That's all in place. So what we'll do, we'll just flick this on. So it's our Apple logo. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get this to the point where it's more or less there. I'm going to come off of camera just for a second, just so I can test it, because it's got personal information on the screen. So I will just pause off screen and I will come back to you. So as you can see now, it's all absolutely fine. We've got a little dot on screen so we can 
test this as best we can. So that is absolutely working. Let's just power that off, like so. So that screen is perfectly working. So we'll go back to this now, we'll just disconnect the battery again. Just grab our plastic pry tool because we don't want to be sticking metal into this thing. There we go. Let's connect our screen again. Now the next thing we're going to do, let's get this top connection off. There we go. So next thing we're going to do, we're just going to clean this frame up a little bit because we don't want this old screen gunk around the edge. Right, okay, so that is the adhesive, old adhesive move from around the screen. So I've got a new adhesive pad here. So what we'll do, we'll just get this fitted on quickly. I hate doing these because they are a pain in the backside to get on. But a necessary evil. So best thing, best way to do this, work your way around with a spudger. Like this. Make sure you've got a nice contact around the whole top edge. All the way up this side as well. Just making sure we've got a whole nice contact. Now what we'll do. Move this side, so that's it ready to go. And then what I like to do is find the break in it, there it is. Come on. Fortunately, it doesn't always like to agree with me. <laughs> That's it. it doesn't. This, uh, this adhesive pad's not a very good one. Normally, they have a break in them so that you can just leave it on one side. So, what I tend to do, just to make life easier, is snip it. Pull this out. Come on. And then I can work my way all the way around. In fact, the brake was at the top. There you go. So when we get to this point, just make sure everything's dimmed down. snip it again here because then this strip is I can lean the edge of the screen on this side and not catch anything while I'm putting it back right so let's get this reassembled now what 
my screws ready to go. Okay. So first thing I'll do is the top top bit. This cable is nice and long, so you can get your top brackets in and things as well without having too much in your way. So that's that one. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get this top bracket back in place and then I will do the next bit. It really helps if you get your cable in the right place, doesn't it? So I'll try and show this as best as I can to you. So what I might just do is bring this over this side. Look, there you go. And then it's not in the way. So again, these are all. Let me just grab them. Okay, it's a cross a mixture of cross and tri wing. So first one. There we go. Once you got your first one in, it's not too bad from there on out. Let's just grab our correct screwdriver. Right screw. Perfect. Next screw. Oh, no, not that one. There we go. In our bracket now. This is the only trouble with having this adhesive down, this tape down here, is because I'm just going to have to remove it now to get this back in the right place. <laughs> I hate doing these. Such a pain in the bum. There we go. Let's have our bigger screw first. Another thing to note is when you're doing these screens, it's best not to over tighten them because you don't want to cause any damage to the board. Right, so there we go. That's all that back in, the brackets all back in. So let's just pull this over here now. So the next thing we're going to do is our LCD assembly. I'll just quickly do that. That was the way. They never want to go back quite in the right place when you've done this. Okay, very firmly down. Let's break it back on. Grab our screws, and again, these are tri wings. First one. Using the plot today. Let's put the bracket back around the right, right way, shall we? There we go. Number two. Connect our battery, that's connected. And now uh, we will do our bracket here. It holds everything in. And we've got three screws left, which is perfect, so that means we are completely on point. Number one. Number two. Three. Right, so hopefully you could see that. Uh, so we've put our metal bracket on the bottom here, our three screws, mid bracket and two screws, 
in this top rack here and the, I don't even know what that's for, it touches the back of the screen, probably something to do with um, Wi-Fi, I would imagine, it probably conducts with this metal plate here. So then what we're going to do, we're going to just shift this this way for just a minute, remove this last piece of blue cover for the adhesive around the screen, like that, and then screen it at the top first, until it clicks, and then just working your way around until it's all looking like it's pressed in and clicked. And then we'll do the bottom two screws anyway now. And these are our pencil loads. It's amazing how Apple haven't actually bothered to change their proprietary screws at the bottom for the last, well, since I think, when did they bring them in? It must have been the iPhone 5. Was it the 4S? I forget which. Right, again, I'll just pause while I bring to us to the emergency screen because this has got some details on it and I'll come straight back to you. Right, so we are now back. So again, screen's still working lovely. It's just what I'd like to do is just bring this up here and then we can just do a quick, see if there's any dead spots, which there isn't. Perfect, that is all back on. Let's just turn this back off again, like so, and there we go, one fully repaired XR. So I, I hope you found this useful, um, so it's just another quick guide on how to, how to do everything on the screen. As I say, the best place to buy these screens I've found is a company called Replace Base. I thoroughly recommend them if you have any parts for mobile phones, tablets. Um, games consoles. This isn't sponsored, they're just who I think are really good and that I use. Um, but yeah, if you like the video, please drop us a like, share the video, leave us a comment, subscribe, and most importantly, press the bell icon so you get notifications when we have future video releases. Anyway, thanks for watching.